Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the reflection of a point on x axis. Let's suppose we have a point P which is located in the first quadrant as in the diagram here and let's assume that the coordinates of point P are x, y, right? Now the task here is that we have to find the coordinates of its reflection. Let's assume that the reflected point is P prime and let's assume that the coordinates of P prime are x sub 1, comma y sub 1. So we have to find out what would be the values of x sub 1 and y sub 1 when we have been provided the values of x and y. So essentially we are taking a reflection on x axis of this original point P and we are getting an image which is located at P prime and I have a green dot right here for the P prime so it is located at P prime. And now because we are talking about reflection we have to remember one very important concept from physics where you know we learnt about the reflection of light and its image. We know that the distance of the object from the mirror in this case let's assume that x axis is like a mirror because we are taking a reflection on x axis so we can assume that x axis is like a mirror and then what is the object well in this case object is our original point which is the point P and then what would be the image well image is the reflected point which is the image of original point P and the image here is the P prime which I have written here or noted here in green that's the image of our original point and then from the concept of reflection of light we know that the distance of the object from the mirror so in this case what would be the distance well distance would be let me write it down distance would be a P that will be equal to distance of the image from the mirror which will be a P prime. Now if you look at the line segment P P prime this entire dotted line segment this is like a straight line there and if you look at that line segment you see that A is definitely the midpoint of that line segment right because AP is equal to AP prime that means A is dividing the line segment into two equal parts so A must be the midpoint right now because A is the midpoint of this line segment we should be able to use the midpoint formula to create equations for the x and y coordinates of this point A. I have already created a separate video on the midpoint formula. I will provide the link in the description. Feel free to watch that video. Now here let us try to find out what are the coordinates of A by the way. So from the provided information I think we will be able to find the coordinates of A. Let us say what would be the x coordinate of A? Well the x coordinate of A will be exactly same as the x coordinate of point P which is actually just x because we have assumed that the coordinates of P are x comma y. So the x coordinate of A will be same as the x coordinate of P right and then what would be the y coordinate? Well y coordinate will be 0 because the point A is on the x axis. So any point on the x axis will have a y coordinate at 0. So those are the coordinates of A right. So the midpoint formula says that the x coordinate of the midpoint would be half of the sum of x coordinates of the two extreme points right. Similarly the y coordinate will also be half of the sum of the y coordinates of two extreme points. Now in this case what are the two extreme points they are P and P prime and we are talking about A as the midpoint right. So now if we use this formula let us first do the x coordinate of the midpoint. So from here we can say okay now what is the x coordinate of our midpoint well we know that that is x actually so I am keeping it as x. Now what I have written here this is just a generic formula right here right. So these are just generic formula so that is just a general formula. Now in our diagram you see that the x coordinate of the midpoint is actually x so we can say okay this x right here or maybe I can write it in red color so that it will make more sense. So for our example we can say okay what is the x coordinate of our midpoint well the x coordinate of our midpoint is actually x. So I am writing it as x because you see right here we have x as the x coordinate of our midpoint right. So I am writing it as x and then that is equal to now what are the x coordinates of the two extreme points which are p and p prime well for p prime I am keeping it as x sub 1 and then for p I am going to write it as x because the x coordinate of p is also x. and and whole divided by 2 right. So from here what we can say well if we multiply both sides by 2 we get 2 times x on the left hand side which will be equal to x sub 1 plus x and then from there we can say okay then if we keep x sub 1 on one side then on the other side we are going to get 2 times x minus x and that will give us x. So we have found the value of x sub 1. So this is the value of x sub 1 and that was one of our task and the second task is to find the value of y sub 1. So let's try that from the formula 
formula of y. So I'm going to now write the formula of y which says y is equal to y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. Now in our example what is the y coordinate of the midpoint? Well the y coordinate of the midpoint is 0. So then we have to say okay then 0 is equal to. Now what are the y coordinates of the two extreme points which are p and p prime? For p prime I'm keeping it as y sub 1 and then for p I'm going to write it as just y because that's exactly what we have assumed that the y coordinate of p is just y right. So then all of this divided by 2. Now from here what do we get? If you multiply both sides by 2 then we get 0 is equal to y sub 1 plus y and then from here we get y sub 1 is equal to negative y. So we have found the second piece of the coordinate that we are supposed to find. So we have found the value of y sub 1 as well. So now let's write it down like this. Say suppose our original point is p. Say suppose we have been given the point p whose coordinates were x comma y and its image on the x axis meaning the image of reflection on x axis. The coordinates of that image would be if I simply say p prime. So p prime its coordinates would be x comma negative y. These are the two values. So that value and this value right. So we can say okay that will be x comma negative y. So as you can see that we can easily use the same coordinates pretty much from the original point. However, we just have to change the sign of the y coordinate. So for original point if it is y for the image it would be negative y right. That's all the change we have to do other than that we can pretty much use the same coordinate that we have for the original point which is actually the provided information right. Now let me make a quick note here. My note is going to be right here. So we are going to say okay the sign of y coordinate changes meaning the the x coordinate would be same as the original points x coordinate but the y coordinate of the image will have a different sign will have the opposite sign of the y coordinate of the original point right. So with this note what I mean is that when you are trying to find the coordinates of the image you can say okay its x coordinate would be same as this x coordinate. So we are pretty much going to write the same thing right there and the y coordinate of the image would be just the opposite sign of the y coordinate opposite sign of the y coordinate of the original point. Only thing you have to be careful about is the sign. The sign will become opposite. So if the y coordinate of the original point was positive then the y coordinate of the image will be negative and if the y coordinate of the original point was negative then the y coordinate of the image will become positive. We just have to flip the sign right. So let's take an example or rather let's take a couple of examples. Now our first example let's say suppose we have been given a point we have been given a point whose coordinates are let's say 2 comma 3 right that could be a point. Now we have been asked to find out what would be the coordinates of its image when reflected on the x axis. So let's assume that its image is p prime. So suppose p prime and we have to find out what would be the coordinates of that p prime. Now it's very easy. You are going to use the x coordinates same as the original point. So I'm simply going to write this right here. So this is our x coordinate. So I'm going to write it as 2 comma and then for the y coordinate what do you have to do? Well we are going to use the same y coordinate value. However the sign has to change. So I'm going to write 3 with a negative sign because the y coordinate originally is positive. Here for the image it will become negative. So now you can see that we could very quickly figure out what would be the coordinates of the image of this point when reflected on the x axis. Now let's take another example. Suppose we have a point. So this is our second example. So if that is our original point we have to find out what would be the image of that point right. So for the image what would be the coordinates of that image? Well the coordinates would be the x coordinate will be exactly same as the original point. So I'm going to write a negative 2 and what would be the y coordinate? Well the y coordinate will be pretty much same value same numeric value but we have to flip the sign. So originally it has been given as negative 3. I have to use positive 3. So this would be the coordinates of our image of this point when reflected on the x axis right. Let's take another example. Suppose in this third example we are going to take we are going to say okay suppose we have been provided the image. Suppose we have been provided the image of a point right. So that means the coordinates of its image have been provided. Suppose the coordinates of the image are like this. Let's say suppose say 2 comma negative 5 or whatever right. So I am just taking it as an example. So suppose this is the image of a point when the point is reflected on the x axis right. Now from here we have to find out what 
what would be the coordinates of the original point so let's say p is the original point right so if p prime is the reflected point of the image then what would be the coordinates of p well in this case again it's the same reverse process you use the same x coordinate so the x coordinate actually does not change in sign or anything is the same value same sign however for y coordinate we have to flip the sign that is the only thing we have to remember right when you are talking about image on reflection on x axis then we have to flip the sign of the y coordinate so here the y coordinate of the original point would be positive 5 so if you think about it that if the original points coordinates were 2 comma 5 then obviously the coordinates of the image would be 2 comma negative 5 right so we just took the reverse example here just to kind of show you like you know how you can even do it this way also i hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video